almost finished, but it's just not hype enough yet. I heard it. We got something in there I want to show you. Man, I had no clue Corey was going to have me working with All Time Low today. This is the song that hits people in the face and goes like, I'm coming for you. Yeah, I feel that. Those dudes definitely gave me some tips that I think could take it to the next level. Yeah, I've been working on a song for the last couple of days, and it's finally in its finishing stages. I can't say for sure if they're going to pick it, but I know I've made a dope record. Today I'm back at the studio to redo a verse on the track. It sounds really good, but I just want to make it perfect. We do not stop too slow down. We reach up top and take crowns. We do not stop too slow down. We reach up top. That number one spot. All right, man. That's a record. Let's get this out. <laughs> when Tim told me that, you know, the song was done, I was really like, you know, I was happy, man, and relieved, and not to say that I didn't enjoy it, it's just a lot of work, a lot of stress. I was just happy to get it done and make a dope product. Listening to the playback, I was real satisfied, man. I was just like, thank God this came out dope. It felt finished, it felt good, it felt relatable. Record breaking, I hit the ground, the earth is quaking, bury your dreams, ghosts, hopes, and aspirations. To be honest, man, I just wanted to win, for real. Like, they told me, you know, it was other people competing. And the first thing I thought, you know, I want, I want to be number one. I wanted this opportunity for myself. One spot is uh, the only reason we do this. Otherwise, we'd go and be lawyers or bankers or something else. But we feel like by putting ourselves out there in the universe and by telling our family and our friends and our loved ones that we're gonna make a living off of music and they look at us crazy. Well, we wouldn't be taking that risk if we weren't aiming for that one spot. Need that number one spot. King of the city, got my money coming nonstop. <laughs> Throughout everything, going through the whole process, like I found a whole new style. And, um, I think that's something that you know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep with for life. What's up, bro? As I was leaving the studio, I got a call from Elliot Sloan. He invited me and Corey to come down to his crib in San Diego. So I'm gonna play him the joint and see what he think. So we pulled up to Elliot's crib and I was like, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was just a chill looking crib. And we get in the back, because he told me he had a skate ramp, and I was like, oh, he got, got a little skate ramp back here. But then I look like further in the back, and he got like a like a full competition like baller ramp back there. I thought this was the, the ramp at first, but then I see that over there. <laughs> Elliot stunning on us. Dude, Elliot half pipe was bigger than the crib that I grew up in. He got the X Games ramp at his crib. I'm rooting for him, the X Games, because that's the homie right now. You know what I'm saying? And um, good luck to him, yeah. I really don't care about nobody else winning. I just want that dude to win, because he's a good dude. Yo, so I just got the song back. Man, it's sounding way better. Like, mm -hmm. it definitely came a long way from when you last came to the studio to check it out. Yep. Like, that part that you was playing in the studio with the, the guitar, mm -hmm. it made it. Oh, nice. Yeah, man, it definitely was a nice addition oh, to it. Cool. So, yeah, man, I just want to run it by you, you know, make sure everything authentic and fresh yeah. and, you know, it's actually something that people could, like, ride to it. Cool, let's check it out. All right, man. Honestly, man, if you don't like this, just let me know, because we really got to have it. All right. right, if we do get it. Okay. <laughs>
You know, I usually listen to death metal, but I was actually into it. You know, it totally sounds like an anthem and something that you'd hear on X Games. I mean, playing the song, Elliot was skating. It was smooth, man. Like, the tempo for it, I don't think it was, like, too slow or too fast. I feel like it's just one of them tracks where you can, like, really vibe, man. You got enough space to think, but it's still, like, dope enough to get you to come. Woo! Chilling. And then I got a call from Kevin from ESPN. Hello? Is this Darnell? Yeah, this is Darnell. It's good to finally talk after all this time. Yeah, man, it is. Is Elliot there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, right on, dude. What's happening? How's it going? Yeah, I got the, um, I got the final mixes today. I just want to say, um, I just want to say it came out awesome. Really great. And I cannot wait to start using it in the programming, so congratulations and thanks for all the work, and um, I hope the two of you guys will be on the next days and perform it live somewhere. Oh, yeah, cool, so so that's in? It's good? Yes, for sure, man. Oh, cool. It's in. So, when Kevin called me and told me that I had the official song and like it's 100%, man, I don't know. Like, what do you say? I could be like, thank you. Like, no matter what I say, it's still not gonna equal how I really felt about that moment, you know what I'm saying? So I came off really chill, but like, man, I definitely hung up the phone and like had the Kool-Aid smile for a couple hours. <laughs> the next time y'all gonna see me, I'll be on stage in front of thousands of people in Austin doing this song that y'all just like, you know, took this journey with me making. And um, I'm gonna kill it, man. 2016 Austin Summer X Games, your boy Darnell gonna be down there performing, ready to come kill shit. <laughs>